It's time to learn you some. First of all, I'm gonna teach you about how delicious Mexican food is, and where have you been my entire life, Tahin? Ah, it zings things up so good. Anyway, actually, let's put a little bit of zinger on there. Just a little bit. Like, they're like little flavor pockets. Okay, I'm finished. Probably got a bunch of food in my teeth, but I'm super professional about this, so here we go. First of all, to do this tutorial, we're gonna need a steering wheel. That's step one. <laughs> this video is for those of you that have no idea what the hell's going on when you hear left five, 30 meters, uh, caution, hairpin, whatever. I'm gonna give you a super generalized, basic ass explanation. And then after I'm done with that, we'll go into a little bit more detail for those of you that understand the basics, and then you wanna know a little bit more. We're redoing the floors at my work, and I like to get involved with my phalanges. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Now one thing that's gonna help you specifically in rally games is turning off every single distraction, right? You don't want your, your little thing on the side here saying how much course you have left. You don't want, you definitely don't want the pace notes up here because the more you rely on this little visual indicator of what's coming up, the less you rely on your ears. Not only is it a major distraction to your driving because you're, you're literally like checking your text messages every five seconds, you know? I mean, obviously it's in line with where you're driving, but like your, your focus is off of what you're doing every turn. You do want to be in cockpit mode. If you got VR, definitely go with VR. If you got track IR or whatever it's called, tracker, do that. Like whatever you have available to you to make it to where you have the absolute most vehicle awareness, that's very important. And also field of vision. Field of vision can, can really alter how you perceive corners coming up. So you want your field of view to be as flat as possible, you know, like it would be in real life. You know, you don't want it like wrapping around you and distorting things. You don't want that at all. This is not the only co-driver pace notes in existence. There, you know, everyone has their own system. A lot of people base their system off of other systems. Some people base their systems off of like this person specifically. Some people just make their own systems up. But in this game specifically, they use like one through six. This is not something like where it applies to every car or it applies to every turn. But a good general rule of thumb is be in the gear that your co-driver announces. They're not announcing gears. They're, they're announcing sharpness of the corners, like, you know, hairpin being the sharpest, followed by a square, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, to flat. There are tons of instances where, where you shouldn't be in the gear. Like, let's say you're going uphill, right? And it, they say, left six while you're going up a hill. You're gonna need more torque to get up the hill, especially if you're like a lower powered car. So maybe you'll be in fifth gear, fourth gear to get up the hill. Let's say the co-driver says something like three left into six right. You're not gonna go from third gear to sixth six gear, like, or fifth gear, if that's what you have. I mean, let, let's say your car only had four gears, right? Like, what, what do you do when he says six right into flat, left for one you know depending on how much torque you have how much speed you already have maybe maybe you lost some speed or something like that you shouldn't be in fourth for the sake of it so like anywhere from five to flat you can pretty much pin it right uh five you, you should probably kind of think about slowing down but for the most part you can hit it pretty hard five and above two to one yeah you need to slow your ass down <laughs> so it doesn't 100 percent correlate to gears like I said, it's just a, a really rough general rule of thumb just to kind of get you through a stage. These are just super rough approximations I'm giving you here. Like This is not like gospel. This isn't something that, like where you can just take this guide and, and, and immediately start doing excellent, right? This is just to get you through a stage. The more you do it, the more you kind of can feel what your car can do, the more you can feel what gear you should be in for the degree of turn severity. Six left, opens over crest. Okay, six left, opens over crest. We're gonna be approaching a very mild corner and over crest, meaning there's like, like a hump, right? There's a hump that's obscuring our vision of the rest of the course. So after we get over the hump, we're gonna be able to see more, right? 
So that's what a crest is. When it says opens or tightens, he's referring to the course, right? Like, so when it's open, you have more room to do what you need to do. If they say tightens, you gotta attack it. Attack on tightens. No, if he says tightens, consider slowing down because, you know, you can you can get a little bit out of control with your back end and hit, you know, smack a rock or something like that. When they say something along the lines of like, or two right tightens, four right tightens, unless they give you an extra modifier like four right tightens into two right or one right or, or whatever, uh, basically they're saying slow down appropriately for the turn, but then slow down a little bit more. To play it safe, a lot of times what I'll do is, uh, you know, depending on, you know, how, how well I know the stage, if, if I don't know it at all, obviously I'm just going to play it dead safe and I'm going to gear down. Four right long, Titans of a crest, 50. See, four Don't right Titans. Into six right. I interpret that as four into right Titans long. into three. 30. Keep middle of a crest, 50. Now, right. when they say like keep middle, that means if you go off to the right or to the left, you're going to be going off the course pretty much. You, that Those kind of modifiers are super important. Keep in is another important one. Whatever way you're turning, just stay on the inside of that corner as much as possible. 30, six right, opens, keep middle of a crest. See, notice I'm in fourth gear right, right now, even though he says it. like it's six, right? Like it's a six right, so why, why am I not in my fifth gear? Because I want to be able to pull out of the corners right. with a, a good amount of torque. Six, 30, turn unseen, one right. Unseen. That's a good one. A lot of these are going to be self-explanatory, but it's going to pretty much look like you can keep on going. It's unexpected, basically. Unseen, uh, keep middle, like, th these are, are really important modifiers. 50, cut, 6 left long. So, when you hear cut or don't cut, those are super important. Cut meaning you can make up a little bit of time and cut through some grass or just like some uneven road, but it's kind of safe. There's no rocks, no, you know, huge dips. But when the co-driver says, don't cut, by no means should you attempt cutting that corner. There's tons of corners where you can kind of like visually see, okay, I can cut that corner, make up like, you know, a millisecond right there. Everything adds up. When they say don't cut, that's another one of those things you need to list out for. Caution, you know, keep middle, don't cut, uh, what was another one, Titans. Big red flags that you should be really cautious with your driving. 120. So when he just said 120. That means you're pretty much just safe to drive that distance and you're good. You don't have anything to worry about. There's no weird cautions. Just drive 120 meters and then they'll get to you. You know, they'll, they'll tell you the next thing. It's kind of like a, a standby. Into three right of a crest bump. Into four left long, into turn one right. When they say things like bump and stuff, that means it's gonna pretty much affect your driving. Like it's gonna throw you off. Like if you're going fast, that bump is gonna mess you up. So when they say things like logs outside or rocks outside, that just means if you're sliding, there's a good chance that you're gonna smack into them. So don't be sliding too much. Into four right long of a junction middle. Six left, extra extra long. So when he said over junction middle, that means you're not taking a left or a right. You're just going straight. Don't cut through bail. I don't remember what he said. One right tightens around bail cobbles. 30, he told me the surface changed, to left. so I gotta take that into account. He said cobbles. A three left on pavement can feel way different than a three left on dirt. So you have to take your surface into account when, when you're making your turns as well. The chicane, left entry. So he says chicane, left entry. Turn, don't cut I didn't do that very good. <laughs> so when in doubt, don't go flat out. I mean, I know that's sacrilegious, considering we're playing, you know, a game based on Colin McRae. Don't just like hammer it and, and think you're going to be fine, because you're not in this game. This game will punish you. You know, in terms of this game, a lot of things are self-explanatory, but the number system confuses a lot of people. And it boils down to the degree of severity of the turn. Like I said, this tutorial is just to get you from point A to point B. This will get you going enough to where like you're not like, whoa, what the hell's going on? This is too much information. I hope it's cleared up some confusion for you all. So remember, when in doubt, don't go flat out. <laughs> on that note, have a good day. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in a future tutorial.